Okay, so we've got the remains of a DaVinci 1.0 printer and I don't like to waste things, I like to recycle, reuse, so I'm doing a project where I want to put the Arduino Mega and the Ramps 1.6 as a new control board for this one. So I've stripped out the old control board, I got all the wiring out, I carefully labelled everything and the first thing I'm looking at is the optical end stops so this is uh, one of the optical end stops. It's actually the sensor for the top lid on the DaVinci. And just looking at the bottom, I can tell that there are no, um, there are no pull up resistors or current limiting resistors on this board. It's just the, um, the LED transmitter and the light sensitive dependent transistor on the receiving end. Uh, so you can't wire this directly up to five volts and uh, I did a bit of googling and I found some circuits which would help me get started. So here you've got a symbol for an optical end stop sensor without the um, resistors. Uh, I've actually measured 150 ohms on the DaVinci control board but the circuit I you looked at used 220. It doesn't do any harm to go for a higher resistance. So you can see uh, we've got A, G and C which are labelled at the bottom on those pins there. So you just trace it through and you wire up accordingly on your on your board. So we've got 240 volts getting in. You've got to have a current limiting resistor on this diode, otherwise it'll just get killed by 5 volts. And uh, then you've got a 10k ohm resistor. That's pretty standard, by the way. A 10k pulling that up to 5 volts going into the um, collector here. Because it's called an open collector. You have the same type of... Um, circuit on a uh, optical encoder by the way and so the other end of that is ground so there's a common ground for the diode and the tra and the receiver and so i've externally wired those up so when that uh when the light actually uh is broken here then this goes open circuit and this point here gets pulled up to five to five volts so I'm going to attempt to demonstrate that now with one hand. So at the moment we've got close to zero volts uh, because the light is transmitting across and the transmitter is conducting. So it's pulling this point down to ground through this 10k resistor. Now if I interfere with that uh, current flow, I'll put a little block in there. You see it drops up to f jumps up to 5 volts take it away, drops down to close to zero volts. So that's how your optical end stop actually works. Great thing about the optical end stop as opposed to the micro switch. So we've got a micro, that's a very common solution for your end stops. But the thing I don't like about using these is that you can have um, bounce issues. Um, so I'm not sure how they deal with that in the circuitry. I don't see any debouncing circuitry on the um, control board. Maybe it's not a big issue, but I like the optical end stop because you don't have any bounce issues. So that's where we're up to so far.